Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are seeing what you guys thought of the Forza Motorsport 7 demo. To be honest, I found it pretty boring. Once you've raced the truck, once you've raced the Porsche, and once you've raced the Nissan GTR, there, there's nothing to do because you don't really want to do it again. Like, I was bored after that. I remember the Forza Motorsport 6 demo, I played that loads, and the Forza Horizon 3 demo, I literally played that so much, and the Forza Motorsport 7 demo is just a bit of a letdown for me, really. But oh well, never mind, let's see what you guys thought of the demo. So on the 20th of September, 2017, obviously, I uploaded a short video which was 46 seconds long, I used a computerised voice, because I didn't really want to use my own, for I couldn't really be bothered, let's be honest here. I just uploaded a little video called, what do you think about the Forza Motorsport 7 demo? And I basically asked you guys to comment down below what you guys thought of it. And it didn't really get many views because it's a short video, which I expect. I, I don't expect that to do really well, so, you know, fair, fair. So 17 comments did appear, and some of them, they're alright. It's a mix, really. It's a mix. Like, people think it's good, and people think it's bad, so... LSM, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. He just put not good. I don't think he enjoyed the demo, really, did he? Then we have Cash Volp. Volpe, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm rubbish with pronunciations. Now, that person did decide to write a massive paragraph, and I will actually read it out. So he put, it was fun getting to drive, drive and race, but it was very difficult to drive with the Ferrari 458 racing wheel. When I first saw that, I saw Ferrari 458, I was like, does it, fr does it, fr does it, fr does it, fr Ferrari 458 in the game. Then I read racing wheel, I was like, okay, fair enough. I like the idea of screen shake, but it makes the game very hard and there was no way to turn it off. I, I don't know what he's on about there, maybe I'm just missing something, but maybe the screen shakes. I've probably missed that, haven't I? They could have done better, it also feels like the Porsche has no control while simply accelerating, it was hard not to start to spin. The new aggressive AI was very fun though. Yeah, that was something you could turn on or off, I'm pretty sure it was off when you first started the demo and then you need to go into like options or settings, whatever it is and just turn it on and they like crash into you, hit you, so you say like in a corner they'll like tap into you and stuff and make you spin out sometimes so that, that's actually quite good because that does happen in actual races and it, it's basically like online isn't it, like online on a Forza Motorsport game if you don't get crashed into by another player then you've been in a god lobby basically. They put that I really liked, love the vids, can't wait to see some FM7 content, yes. I can't wait to upload Force Motorsport 7 content. It's like two or three weeks until the actual game comes out. I'm not getting early access because I'm not spending that sort of money on a game. I'm just going to get the standard edition, you know, standard stuff. I actually don't know really because I do want the VIP. That'll be good. And because there's probably, I think there's Horizon Edition cars in Force Motorsport 7, so that'll be quite cool. I just had to check my audio software there because I wasn't sure if I pressed record or not, but thank god I did press record. And then Dan Solo commented GY. I don't know what this means, I'm gonna have to Google it. 12 seconds later. I I'm not too sure what this means, I, I just googled it, he's got Grain Yield Agriculture and Geonology, Guyana Airways 2000 and Guidance Year. I have no idea. Oh well, moving on. There's just some names you don't even bother pronouncing. This is one of them. So this person put, it isn't a career demo. No, it's just one of those demos where it's like, you can try this truck, you can try this Porsche, you can try this Nissan, and there you go, that's your demo done. Like, they could have added a bit more. I mean, the Nissan, oh my god, that does sound amazing with the weather and stuff. That was a very fun one. I wasn't too, too happy on the racing truck one though, because when you go in the outside view, you can't see it from the front. And then the Porsche, that track was good though. So Magic Farmer 2.0 just commented the demo was good. Then he replied to that by saying, but it was a bit short. Yeah, that is what I thought. The demo was pretty short. You'd literally be done in about 20 minutes. Like, come on, extend this demo, please. So Yufakra commented, GTR sounds insane, but the FFB is too strong. At first I was like, what is FFB? Then I was like, oh, it's force feedback, isn't it? So, I don't, I don't know, I don't play with wheel, I play with controller, so I, I thought you could turn force feedback down, like you could turn it, make it less, but I, I don't know, like, wheel people, is the force feedback too strong, Yufakra thinks it is, so I don't, I don't know, because I obviously don't use force feedback. But yeah, the GTR does sound amazing, and on that track in the rain as well, it was just an incredible car, and I, I actually love driving that as well, it was so cool. Oh, there's that Dan Solo person again. He commented good. Maybe he commented the wrong thing there. So he thinks the demo is good. That's all good. 
Then we have this person, he put, it is a very good demo. I, I thought, it's not as good as Forza Motorsport 6, so I wouldn't say it is very good, but obviously some people think it's alright, but you, it's good how he gets experience the Porsche, the truck, and then the GTR in the rain as well, so that's quite cool. Then Oliver Smith commented, the demo is okay, it is not as exciting as Forza Motorsport 6, but it is still good because of the new features. I love the new sounds and the rain effects. Yeah, all that stuff, the sounds, the rain effects, is amazing, but please just make the demo a little bit bigger, like, let us do more. Because I remember Forza Motorsport 6 demo, it was like a career one, you could choose a car, like, when you get to choose, like, out of five cars at the beginning, three or five cars, like, and you can choose a Golf and stuff like that, so like, Forza Motorsport 6 is was alright. Then Danielle commented, it's so good, and the menu and start is so good, I can't stop playing it, and the sounds are so realistic. Yep, the sounds are amazing, but... How are you still playing that demo? How, how have you not got bored of that? But anyway guys, that was Forza Motorsport 7 demo on what you guys think of it. Leave like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here. But until next time, peace out.